So let us start the hydraulic turbines. So I think all of you know what is hydraulic turbines. So I don't have to tell elaborately what is hydraulic turbine, but still I will go through the definitions and the basics of this hydraulic turbine. So let us first come to the definition of hydraulic turbine. So what is basically a hydraulic turbine? Hydraulic turbine is a device that converts the energy in a stream of a fluid into mechanical energy by passing the extreme through a system of fixed and moving blades, causing the wheel to rotate. मतलब जो hydraulic turbine है, वो water का power use करेगा, and the potential energy of the water power will be converted into mechanical energy by means of some fixed or moving blades. Actually, turbine is a power producing machine. Okay, so here you can see a typical diagram of a hydraulic turbine system. Typical diagram of a hydraulic turbine system. So, this is a typical diagram of hydraulic turbine system. So, it's a, so this portion is known as head ridge, or the topmost portion of the dam is known as the head ridge. So, you can see there is symmetry between the dam. So, Duga Pur dam ho gaya. So it is like the dam. So, so this topmost portion from what the energy will convert, that portion is known as the head ridge. This portion is known as the tail ridge. And this from through the large diameter tube to which the fluid or the water will flow from the head ridge to the tail ridge through some tubes, and those tubes are known as pain stock. You must remember that name. That is pain stock. One second. One second. Hmm. So uh, so this this is known as the head ridge. This portion, this portion is known as the tail ridge, and this portion is known as the diameter, the large diameter tube is known as the pin stock. And here is the hydraulic turbine arrangement, which uh, converts the um, potential energy of this fluid, the potential energy of this fluid into some terms of mechanical energy. In terms of mechanical energy, then that mechanical energy is rather converted into the electrical en energy. So this is the basics of hydraulic turbine, the definition of hydraulic turbines. Okay. Next, we we'll go to the classification of hydraulic turbines. So hydraulic turbines are there, oh, how many types of hydraulic turbines? So let us see how many types of hydraulic turbines are there. So as per the type of energy available at the inlet, it is categorized into two portions. One is impulse turbine and another is reaction turbine. So I will tell you later on. बाद में बोलूँगा ये impulse turbine किया है, ये reaction turbine किया है, ये मैं बाद में बोलूँगा. The definition of all these things. तो पहले ये समझ लो the how these hydraulic turbines are classified. So as per the energy available at the inlet, the hydraulic turbines are classified into two portions. One is impulse turbine and another is reaction turbine. Next, as per the direction of the flow, as per the direction of the flow of water. The hydraulic turbines are classified into four parts. Taro mein divide kiya jata hai. Ek hai tangential flow turbine, dusra hai axial flow turbine, then hai radial flow turbine, then hai mixed flow turbine. Then, as per the water head and the quantity of the water available, isme according to this, the hydraulic turbines are divided into three portions. One is high head, small quantity, medium head, medium flow head. And low head, large flow rate. Okay. So three types of uh, uh, hydraulic turbines are available as per the water heat and the quantity of the available. Okay. And the last one is as per the specific heat, as per the specific heat, as per the specific heat of the turbine. So one is low specific heat, then is medium specific heat, and the last one is high specific speed. So I will tell you one by one and give you the examples uh, of this. I'll give you the examples of this one by one. 
okay so first let us understand what are the turbines what are the classifications and what are the definition of the turbines that already i have mentioned okay so first i will come this impulse turbine what is uh, known as the impulse turbine okay. so what is the definition of in impulse turbine impulse turbine means if the energy available at the limit of the turbine is only the kinetic energy is only the kinetic energy then it is known as impulse turbine and the example of the impulse turbine is pelton wheel turbine then is reaction turbine so if at the inlet of the turbine the water possesses kinetic energy as well as the pressure energy it is known as the reaction turbine matlab isme kinetic energy bhi hoga aur pressure energy bhi available hoga so if both are available then it is known as the reaction turbine okay so it is not written over here so here it would be kinetic energy as well as the pressure energy it is known as the reaction turbine the example of the reaction turbine is francis turbine kaplan turbine next come as per the flow direction of the turbine the uh, the turbines are class the hydro turbines are classified into four parts one was tangential flow turbine then radial flow turbine then inward uh, then axial flow turbine and mixed flow turbine okay so i will come to the definition one by one so first one is tangential flow turbine so if the flow water flow along the runner uh water flows along the tangent of the runner along the tangent of the runner if the water flows then it is known as then it is known as the tangential flow turbine okay. then comes the radial flow turbine so as per the name implies that radial flow turbine means if the water if the water flows in the radial direction through the runner then it is known as the radial flow turbine matlab agar radius par bada work the water flow karta hai so that turbine is known as the radial flow turbine ye sabhi water ka flow ka direction ke respect pe hai okay then hai inward flow radial turbine and outward radial flow turbine so ye radial flow ka do categorized categorization hai the two division hai one is inward radial flow turbine and another is outward radial flow turbine so what is inward radial flow turbine if the water flows from outward to inwards matlab bahar se agar andar aayega अगर बाहर से अगर अंदर आएगा सो दैट इज नोन एज द इनवर्ड रेडियल फ्लो टर्बाइन सिमिलरली अगर अंदर से बाहर गया अगर द वाटर दैट इज फ्लोइंग अंदर से बाहर जा रहा है सो दैट इज नोन एज द आउटवर्ड रेडियल फ्लो टर्बाइन द आउटवर्ड रेडियल रेडियल फ्लो टर्बाइन ओके नेक्स्ट कम्स द कैटेगरी ऑफ एक्सचल फ्लो टर्बाइन सो एज द नेम इंप्लाइज दैट इफ इफ द वाटर फ्लोज अलोंग थ्रू द और अलोंग द एक्सिस ऑफ द along the axis of the turbine or parallel to the axis of the rotation uh, parallel axis of the turbine or axis of the runner then it is known as the axial flow turbine matlab ye axis ke barabar flow karega jo water flow kar raha hai wo agar axis ke barabar flow karega turbine ka jo axis aur jo runner ka jo axis hai uske barabar flow karega so that is known as axial flow turbine and the last one is the mixed flow turbine what is mixed flow turbine mixed flow turbine is that kind of turbine which consists of two types of flow that means there must be axial flow as well as the radial flow so agar radial flow bhi hai agar axial flow dono mix hai so it is known as the mixed flow turbine mixed flow turbine so francis turbine is your mixed flow turbine okay so these are the categories of turbine as per the flow direction of water next comes next comes as per the specific speed of the turbine so i have told you that low specific speed there is a low specific speed then medium specific speed then high specific speed so pelton turbine is considered as the low specific speed turbine francis medium specific speed turbine as well as mixed flow turbine and kaplan and the propeller are the high specific speed turbine or the axial turbine okay So these are the three categories of turbine as per the specific speed. As per the specific speed, then the carbon categories comes under the head. That means how much head is available at the inlet of the turbine. Is the high head available? Then is the high head turbine. Is the medium head available? Then is known as the medium head turbine. And if it is the low head, low head available, then is the low head turbine. So what are the example of these turbines? 
so for the high head turbine it is pelto turbine so pelto turbine is high head low specific speed just remember my words because each and every word are important for your examination remember high head pelto turbine is high head low specific speed tangential flow impulse turbine okay these are the categories of pelton turbine then comes uh, medium head turbine medium head turbine is francis turbine francis turbine is medium head medium specific speed medium head medium specific speed mixed flow reaction turbine okay so the last one is the low head turbine and the last one is low head turbines low head turbines okay and this is the coupler and propeller turbine so what is coupler and turbine it is low head high specific speed axial flow reaction turbine you must remember all my words whatever i am saying because each and every word are important okay and you can see over here and even see over here uh the head the head ranges are given or uh, specific speed ranges are given and the head ranges are head ranges are given so above 250 head it is high head 60 to 250 head it is uh, medium head and below 50 head 60 it is yellow head so similarly specific speed 10 to 35 specific speed is uh, low specific speed 60 to 300 is medium specific speed and 300 to 1000 it is high specific speed okay so as per the specific speed and as per the head of turbine this is the classification of all the head of turbines so now we have seen all the definitions and all the um, examples of the turbines okay so turbines now we will move on to the basic analysis basic analysis of the hydraulic turbines so what are the basic analysis so first we will see the diagram then we will see the similarities between these two so look at the diagram one second so this diagram so this diagram so this is the dam this is the dam this is the reservoir where the water is stored at the high altitude the water is stored at high altitude that is known as the reservoir and i have told you this is the this is the head rest and this portion that lower lowest portion is the this lowest portion is the tail rest this lowest portion is the tail rest okay so we have categorized this and this this pipes and this pipes these pipes are known as the pen stock that means the high diameter pipes the large diameter pipes to which the water flows the water flows from the reservoir towards the turbine towards the turbine and then hits the blade of the turbine so that we can get the mechanical work output and after that the mechanical work output is being converted into electrical work output okay okay so what are the head available so if we consider the tail rest like over here and the head rest over here so that the height available the height available from the head rest to tail rest is your gross head is your gross head okay which is termed as hl or hg which is termed as hl or hg okay now as the water is flowing through this the water is flowing through this through the pen stock for certain expansion or certain things there will be some losses so you have you have seen you have read the pipe losses what are the pipe losses occurs okay so because of these losses the total gross head the total gross head is not available over here so some is lost some head is lost okay. so the head that is available at the inlet of the turbine that is known as the net head that is known as the net head which is uh, denoted by h which is denoted by h so what will be so what will be the net head it will be the gross head that is this gross head minus the losses minus the losses so minus the losses so there will be frictional losses there will be losses due to expansion there will be losses due to uh, contraction so there are several losses of course we have categorized all the losses so mainly the losses we get is the friction loss which is categorized as hf which is categorized as hf so the net head is equal to gross head minus the head loss okay and hf is equal to nothing but your 
L d square by d into 2g that is known as Darcy-Weiss equation. Okay, now at f is the Darcy-Weiss coefficient. L is uh, L is the um, length. D is the velocity of the fluid. D uh, D you know the weighted diameter and L is the weighted uh, length. Okay, so you know all these things. What is this? Already you have read. So h is equal to the net head is equal to the gross head minus the frictional head that is known as FL squared by D into 2G. Okay. Next, we will see the servile efficiencies. Servile efficiencies of the turbines. So, first you have to understand what is happening in the turbine. So, the thing that is happening, the water has some power, the water has some energy that is converted into final form of energy through the shaft. And the media that is done, that is done by this device that is known as turbine. So water ka jo energy hai, wo turbine pe ghusega. Pe turbine wo usko convert karega aur ek energy pe and that energy will be transmitted to the shaft. Okay. So there are three types of energy available. One is water energy. Then at the energy available in the turbine, that is known as the energy available in the turbine. Then the, after the conversion in the turbine, uh, in the runner, the the power that is available at the outlet of the turbine is known as runner power. Then from the runner power, it will be it will be transmitted to the shaft. It will be transmitted to the shaft. That is known as shaft power. So three powers are available. One is water power that is available at the inlet of the turbine. That is available at the inlet of the turbine because of the net head available. Then after the conversion of the turbine, we will get a power because the power will convert the power will be converted in the turbine the runner and what is the runner we know that okay runner means that that will rotate and above which the buckets or the blades are mounted and on the blades the water jet will strike and we have seen the calculations of this water jet in the last lectures okay so we are seeing that three types of power available one is water power that is available at the inlet of the turbine Next, at the outlet of the turbine, that is your mm, runner power because the conversion is done by the runner. Then, from the runner, that power is transmitted to the shaft. That is the big power we get at the generator, that is known as the shaft power. So, three parts we are getting water power, runner power, and shaft power. These are the three definitions of the mm, uh, powers that, is, that are available uh, by circulating through different devices or after transmitting the power. Okay, so first efficiency comes in our future that is the hydraulic efficiency. And let me tell you, these efficiency are very much under very much important for solving the problems in fluids or fluid mechanics. So, first efficiency is available so, that is known as the hydraulic efficiency. So, hydraulic efficiency is defined as the runner power by the water power. That means hydraulic efficiency is the efficiency of this is this turbine that means the turbine output power the turbine output power by the turbine input power the turbine output Hello? power is your try to mute yourself ronit pal but i have a question yourself. not right now i will i will tell you okay okay i'm going to, I'm going to ask okay so this is the runner power then here it is the water power that is available. Okay. So the hydraulic efficiency is runner power by the water power. Okay. Now what will be the equation of the runner power? Uh, so we have done this calculation in the last lecture. We have done the calculation in the last lecture. So RP is the W multiplied by B w1 u1 plus minus bw2 u2 by g into 1000 in kilowatt so we have seen this equation in the last lecture that is the that is the power power equation for the radial veins the the radial veins mounted on the runner we have seen this we have done the calculations last day okay so that is the runner power that is available now what is the water power that is available it is the mass it it basically mgh it basically mgh we know the potential energy over here the potential energy over here the potential energy over here is nothing but the mgh and that mgh will be converted into the mechanical energy in the, by means of turbine the hydraulic turbine so this is the basic funda what is the head available 
at the inlet of the turbine that is the net head that is the net head that is the net head so basically our equation will be mg into net head okay because that type of energy that water or energy is that water energy is converted into the mechanical energy okay that water energy is converted into the mechanical energy okay okay so the water part that is available is mg into h mg you know that is the uh, weight so it will be w into h by 1000 1000 is given to emphasize or to make it in kilowatt okay so it will be rho g q into h because we know w is equal to rho q into g okay so the water power that is available that is rho g q into h by 1000 so these are the two equations of uh, runner power and the water power then comes then comes the mechanical efficiency so what is the mechanical efficiency mechanical efficiency is the shaft power by the runner power that means that means here that means here here the power available yeah. the power available the iska the audio ka audio thoda okay so let us continue so the power that is available the power that is available over here that is known as the power available over here that is known as the shaft power that means after the outlet of the turbine uh, the power that is generated by means of the runner or that is being converted not generated being converted in the runner will be transmitted throughout the shaft and in this transmission there should be some losses some mechanical losses and the, that's why the mechanical efficiency comes into the picture so what is the mechanical efficiency that is the shaft power that is our output and the runner power that is our input so this efficiency comes because of the mechanical transmission of power then volumetric efficiency is not so much of important but you still know that uh, volume of the water actually striking the runner by volume of the water supplied to the runner that means the volume of the water that is striking the volume of the water that is actually striking the runner and then the volume of the water supplied to the runner Okay, this is the volumetric efficiency and the last efficiency that comes it is the overall efficiency it comes the overall efficiency so what is overall efficiency overall efficiency matlab that power that is available from the water and the power what we get at the shaft that means before entering into the electrical system or before entering into the generator that means that power available in by means of the potential energy of the water and that power that is that we are getting in terms of brake power before entering the generator so if we make the ratio of that output by input that is comes the overall efficiency so overall efficiency is your shaft power overall efficiency is your shaft power by the water power okay now we will do some calculation or manipulations of this overall efficiency so So what uh, type of uh, uh, calculation we will do, manipulation we will do, that is eta is equal to simply sp by wp. So we will multiply rp in the denominator as well as the numerator, as the numerator as well as the denominator, okay. So we will multiply it by rp. So after multiplying with the rp, we will get like the equation like this. Now now we can put this rp below the sp and this wp below the rp so we have i have done over here now what is sp by rp now sp by rp is your mechanical efficiency sp by rp is your mechanical efficiency and rp by wp is your hydraulic efficiency so overall efficiency so overall efficiency is nothing but your mechanical efficiency multiplied by the hydraulic efficiency so you must remember all the efficiencies that are used in this hydraulic system okay so uh, i will just give you the 
brief of the turn wind turbine today next day we do the calculations or the uh, some problem so first category come okay. so i have completed so i have completed the basic analysis of the turbines now we move on some uh, now go some uh, we see some we'll study some several types of turbines so first comes the pelton turbine okay so already i have explained what is pelton turbine that means how the pelton turbine is classified just remember my words that was high head low specific field tangential flow impulse turbine so that was the pelton wheel of the pelton turbine so we will see the the construction of pelton wheel so you can see this is the pelton wheel so you can see this is the pelton wheel so it has uh, four parts one is nozzle and flowing arrangement then runner and the buckets then casing and last one is the braking jet so here you can see this one is the nozzle and the flowing el element then runner and the buckets then runner and the buckets then this one is the casing this one is the casing this is the casing and this one is the braking jet this one is the braking jet okay so how it works let us see the animation look at over there the jet is coming so the jet is coming so the jet is coming and striking the bucket of this bucket of this while the casing is not being shown and the water is flowing so it is a tangential flow impulse turbine impulse turbine means the energy that is available with this uh kinetic energy okay now we'll uh, see now we'll see now we'll see one by one uh what is uh these turbines first is uh, what are the components of this turbine so first comes the nozzle and the regulating arrangement nozzle and the regulating arrangement so this is the nozzle and the regulating arrangement nozzle means it it is connected to the pen stock a small portion which makes the jet of the water and this is the sphere the spelling is wrong over here it is here uh, hey, spelling is right here over here here the spelling is wrong okay. so it is known as the sphere sphere means so you have done some experiment in your uh, laboratory in fluid machines laboratory already you have done that uh whenever we are doing whenever we are doing the fluid machines laboratory there is a handle who, who rotate and this handle that wheel that wheel controls the flow rate that wheel controls the flow rate of this jet of the water we are aave aage jayega the flow rate kam ho jayega agar piche jayega to flow rate zyada ho jayega so it controls the flow rate of the wheel so this is the nozzle so here it is here it is the nozzle here it is the here it is the nozzle and then this is the wheel and the flow arrangement is regulated by the wheel okay next comes the runner and the bucket so i don't have to explain what is runner and the bucket so as the you can see from the diagram there is a runner and this is the bucket so the jet strikes the bucket the jet strikes the bucket and because of the bucket uh, because of the deflection of that uh, water because of the deflection of the water after striking the bucket the energy or the momentum transferred the moment of the sign we have done the calculations last day the moment is transferred to the bucket of this uh uh and bucket of the pelton wheel or bucket which is mounted over the runner and it started moving whenever it started moving the sudden velocity shall with this the runner move because of the transfer of the momentum from the water jet to the bucket of the uh hydraulic turbines so these are the the basic uh basic device the basic part basic component of the pelton wheel which helps us to convert uh, potential energy or the head, the energy that is available in terms of uh, your kinetic energy or potential energy is converted into your one second is converted converted into the uh, mechanical energy right next is next is so your next is so your okay. so next one next one is your casing okay. so casing matlab jo khap hota hai usko bolte hai casing iska kaam kya hai iska kaam hai pura cheez pura pelton wheel ko hold karke rakhne ka aur jo splashing ho raha hai water matlab after after striking the jet is splashes so splashing ko bahar jane se rokna was that is the that is the work done of your casing okay next next hai tumhara 
the braking jet so braking jet is required only when the pendulum wheel is not working so whenever the pendulum wheel is not working then uh, that braking jet is used to reduce its momentum and to stop the to uh, stop the rotation of the runner okay so here is the here is the here is the braking jet matlab agar maan lo ye flow ka jet ye flow complete uh, nahi ja raha hai but still because of the inertia it will try it will try to move in this direction okay so along the direction of the jet it will try to move but braking jet is is used to stop the movement of the runner okay it is used to stop the movement of the runner so these are the all components of uh, your pelton wheel so next we will we will see the calculation and we will solve some problems okay so now you have any question then you can ask me anyone around it was he was asking me any question so ask me if you have any question should i have i will complete over here okay so if you have any question then you can ask me around it was ball हाँ सर लास्ट जेट जेट बोलना वो तो बुझ लाम ना जे ब्रेकिंग जेट को ले वो जगह तो बुझ लाम ना सर ब्रेकिंग जेट तो आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ आ � আমাদের পাওয়ার জেনারেশনে দরকার দ্যাট এর মোমেন্ট আমার পাওয়ার জেনারেশনে দরকার নেই তাহলে আমাকে কত করে ওয়াটার জেটের যে ফ্লোটা আছে সেটা বন্ধ করে দিতে হবে এই স্পিয়ারটাকে ক্লোজ করে দিয়ে আমাকে ওয়াটার জেটের ফ্লোটা বন্ধ করে দিতে হবে তো যদি বন্ধ করে দিই স্টিল এর আগে তো ঘুরছিল এবং এটা একটা বিয়ার্ড বড় ডিভাইস এবং রানারটা বিয়ার্ড বড় হয় এবং তার উপরে কাপ তো অনেক বড় থাকে তো ডিউ টু ইনার্শিয়া ইট উইল কন্টিনিউ টু রোটেশন মানে স্টিল ওটা পাওয়ার জেনারেট করে যাচ্ছে কিন্তু সেটা আমাদের দরকার নেই তাহলে কি করতে হবে তাহলে ওর যে রোটেশন ট্র্যাকে সেটাকে বন্ধ করতে হবে এটা বন্ধ করার জন্য কি করা হয় উল্টো দিকে আরেকটা জেট দিয়ে দেওয়া হয় উল্টো দিকে আরেকটা জেট ফ্লো করা হয় যাতে এটা বাকেটের পিছন দিকে স্ট্রাইক করে এবং এটাকে স্লো করে দিয়ে শেষ পর্যন্ত বন্ধ করে দেয় এটাই হচ্ছে ব্রেকিং জেটের কাজ আরেকটা বল বুঝতে পেরেছিস এই যে ফ্লো ফ্রম মেইন পাইপ আছে ওটাই কি ব্রেকিং জেটের কাজ করছে হ্যাঁ ফ্লো ফ্রম মেইন জেট থেকে যেটা আছে সেটাই ব্রেকিং জেটের কাজ করছে ঠিক আছে স্যার तो सर ये जो क्या है वे ये जो लॉस्ट है वे टाइम मत दे जाए ये लॉस्ट को हम्म बोल ये तो फ्रिक्शनल लॉस द लॉस ड्यू टू पाइप अच्छा अच्छा ये तो लॉस ड्यू टू फ्रिक्शनल मतलब हाँ हाँ और जो तो पाइप है तुम लोग फ्लो कर चुके थे पाइप एक लॉस था गए ये लॉस टा पूरे जिस आगे देवी पाइप लॉस अच्छा अरे सर वो रनर पावर वो जगह टू बुझ रहा है नहीं कौन सा नंबर तीन डे पावर डिस्प्ले ने वाटर पावर रनर पावर और शेफ पावर रनर पावर टू बुझ रनर पावर रनर पावर माना अच्छे ये जो पेल्टन होल्डर जब उन घुर चेना ये टा अच्छे ये टा अच्छे वाटर पावर ये टा अच्छे वाटर पावर ये जो जेट पावर टा ठीक है ऐसे एक घुर चेज पावर टाइम जगह ना पाची ये घुर चेर फल शार्प रोटेट हो तो ये पावर टा पाची रानर पावर और एक पावर टा ट्रांसमिट हो এই যে পাউডার ট্রান্সমিট হচ্ছে এখান থেকে এখানে এটা হচ্ছে শ্যাফট পাওয়ার আচ্ছা মানে শ্যাফট এর স্টার্টিং এর টা হলো রানার আর শ্যাফট এর শেষে কাপলিং যেখানটা লাগানো আছে ওটা হলো শ্যাফট পাওয়ার শ্যাফট যেখানে আমরা কাপলিং টা লাগানো আছে যেখানে আমরা গিয়ার দিয়ে ট্রান্সমিট হচ্ছে সেই জায়গাটার থেকে যে পাওয়ার টা পাওয়ার শ্যাফট পাওয়ার ঠিক আছে তার আগে পর্যন্ত রানারটা রোটेट করার জন্য যে পাওয়ারটা পাচ্ছি সেটা হচ্ছে রানার পাওয়ার মানে যে রানারটা রোটेट করছে তো এই রানারটা রোটेट করার জন্য যে পাওয়ারটা পাচ্ছি সেটা হচ্ছে রানার পাওয়ার अच्छा सर अरे एक टेक क्वेश्चन चलो तो इंपल्स टर्बाइन सुधु काइनेटिक एनर्जी बच्ची और रिएक्शन टर्बाइन काइनेटिक एनर्जी एस वेल एस प्रेशर बाकी एनर्जी प्रेशर एनर्जी अच्छा प्रेशर ना पोटेंशियल होने से प्रेशर पोटेंशियल जितना कन्वर्ट होता है अच्छा ठीक है सर थैंक यू और उन लोगों को क्वेश्चन ओके सो आई विल स्टॉप अपन हेयर आई विल सी यू नेक्स्ट डे so thank you